I'm Catherine of Sky, and but for now, let's go ahead and adjust our schedules, um, because what what has happened is that we have all kinds of new things going on here. So what has happened is you'll notice this number has changed. This is class now two one. It is no longer one whatever. Um, this class has kind of graduated into the next uh, semester here. Um, the students are the same. They are basically year two students. So any new new students will be year one students. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this classroom. I do want to change the symbol here. I kind of like them to be the numbers, at least for one set of things. Um, there is a spot here where you can change it. Here it goes. Grade one. There we go. Yes. Okay, so let's go and see what we got here. We have um, new teachers. Uh, nobody has a... Actually, I guess... I don't even know. All right, let's get these kids. Rich kids. <laughs> Higher tuition and daily tuition than students of other communities. Okay. Forgetful. Bad memory. Learn slower in humanities. Aye, that's not great. Well, let's admit these folks. Um, let's see how our training is going. 32 real-time minutes. I, yeah, that's really bad. <clears throat> anyway, class one, two. Let's add our students. And one thing, cool thing we can do is go in here and we can see our class two, two is looking like this. Um, so what we have here is literature and then algebra. Okay, so humanities, then math. What we can do is do math and humanities. And what that does is that enables us to use better teachers or the same teachers. Let's see, who is the best? Okay, so that's uh, me being the best uh, at this. Ms. Lynn, are you still better? Yes, you are. Okay, good. And um, there we go. So we do need to assign a teacher for the homeroom. So let's do that real quick. Um, Harry Jones seems to be idle. So you can be uh, the homeroom teacher for these folks. That seems fine. Uh, all right. If, if a, like my uh, character is the headmaster and headmaster has their own duties. So they can't be a full-time teacher or a homeroom teacher basically, but they can teach some classes. So that's a nice thing that, that you can kind of uh, uh, look at. <clears throat> oh, we got a thing. We're level two. All right, so this is good, actually, because I think that makes us... Wait. Eh? Bonus received. All right, we got a, things from the Ministry of Education. Do we? Can we see our r r ranking? So there's a ranking that allows you to hire higher levels of employees. And I think that's what we just got is level two. Now, also, we haven't looked at this yet. We have a cat egg. <clears throat> a cat egg. Yes. Okay. We have hat. Oh, and this is, this is random. Okay. Hi, kitten. How you doing? That is the gnarliest looking cat ever. Okay. You look cute. Good, good. All right. There's also a panda egg. Oh my god. Yes, here's the panda. That is a big animal. Oh my god. And it's got like a very weird tail. Oh my. It's like a huge fuzzy caterpillar. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Lay down with the students. Get some loving in. Let's go. Looks cute. Uh-huh. Look at this. People complaining. It's too dark. Might be in the hallways or something. Okay, cooling is needed. All right. Anyway, that tail is so weird. It's too thick. It's very caterpillar. It creeps me out, actually. It really creeps me out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, new semester. Let's have a speech. Sure, let's do a speech. I don't know how Japanese I should be here because I think that in Japanese culture, the... Oh, and I forgot to change the uniforms. Whoops. Okay, um, we'll do a friendly opening. Yay! Okay. Talk about academics, that's all we got. I am just freakishly tall here. 
Okay, do we commend people, console? I think we console and encourage because so many people failed. Okay, there we go. I do wonder, if all those kids failed, what are they doing still in second year classes? Alright, so do we bonus, forget failure? Yeah, let's do that. I think that's a good idea. <clears throat> Yay! Alright, time to wrap up. Loud cheer, let's go. Yay! Hooray! Ah, oh, okay. Buff gained, lost satisfaction. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay, so we got another lecture topic, serene mood or something. Okay, well that's a thing. Anyway, uh, did we, because we had like 10 people in this class, right? Or more maybe? Ten, yeah, still 10. And the new one, like how do they get past if they failed? I don't get this. I do not understand this. That, that's always a thing in American schools. Like, if you fail, they still pass you or whatever. I don't think... I knew people with failing grades and they never were held back, ever. So, I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Air conditioning. Alright, so we don't have air conditioning, but everybody's roasting. Look at this. So, this is the most bizarre thing. Even worse than Panda Caterpillar Tail, wherever he went off to. Oh my god, this is like, this is weird. You have to use an ice tray. Now, you would imagine that an ice tray might fit on a table or a desk. Nope. It's just a giant block of ice to cool people down. Yes. I know. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. All right. There we go. <laughs> nuts. I'm not going to put any in the bathrooms or the hallways. I feel like the students stay there very uh, a short duration of time, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Community volunteering to the schedule. Okay. Oh. Okay. Headmasters should do their best to provide sinks or showers. Uh. Okay. Students are thinking of ways to entertain themselves. Yes, I can imagine. It looks like, I think, showers come with the next hygiene upgrade. This is interesting. White flower bed. Alright, that's interesting. Kind of maybe fill this area, or should I just do a shrubbery instead? Yeah, that's good. There we go. That looks quite nice. Okay. Um, okay, what other furniture did we get here? We got the Sciences Statue and Humanities Statue. They will cause a short-term memory increase. And this one, Intelligence Increase. So I kind of want to put these on the way to school. Yeah, there you go. You have to see him before you get in the school. Go. Oh, whoops. Uh huh. There's old caterpillar tail. Oh my god. So how are things going? You're probably stressed. Yes, yes, yes. It's fine. It'll be fine. We'll get him on a management course soon. <clears throat> All right, so we are researching currently what? Oh, junior humanities, right? All right. So did we get those sciences sorted out? Yeah, we're way behind on stuff. Yeah, here we definitely need the literature upgrade. Um, or wait, huh? Wait, what are we researching again? Oh, no. Yeah, we're getting the... Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought we were researching the science and I'm like, wait a second. What's going on here? But no, we're, we're doing the correct thing. Um, because you'll see then that those humanities classes will be available to teach. Um, because we have to kind of like research the next level of stuff, basically. If 
feel like I made this horrible mistake with this training. Oh my god, it's taking forever! Okay, continue research. Let's do the school reform now so that we can get this, this level of stuff. So now, if we look at the schedule again, you'll see that these are available. Apparently, we have to research humanities in order to teach it. As if this hasn't been existing for thousands of years. Mm. Like the knowledge, just look on the internet. You can find a course syllabus. It's not that terrible. Okay. Okay, let's see. We are still not seeing people that have that management skill, which I really would like. Be very handy. Okay, let's pause for a minute. And get these people. Yeah, there you go. I forgot we could do it that way too. Nice. How are we doing pass fail wise? We still have people failing. Um, why? They are humanities. All right, so we need to buff our humanities teacher. Oh, I have been so tempted to cancel this for a long time. Um. Oh, bug nets. Nice. Okay, you know what? I'm going to cancel him. All progress? Yeah. Because, and it costs us a lot of money as well. Um, <clears throat> we want to do class 2-1. No, 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 no. Class 2-1. No, I think we need you, humanities teacher. Yes, you're our only humanities. Oh, no, it was Miss Lynn, right? Uh, No. Wait, who is teaching the class? I don't remember anymore. Okay, let's see. Let's check who's teaching the class. Ms. Lin. Okay, so we need to educate Ms. Lin. I hope we can do it fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, 500. Time needed four hours. Okay, that's fine. Which is like four minutes, really. We should have canceled that long time ago. I just didn't want to... It was, you know, sunken cost fallacy. Yeah. Not good. Alright. Alrighty. We are back. And doing stuff and things. Facility lacking necessary personnel. I know, I know. It's so sad, isn't it? This research is taking a while, but it's okay. We'll get there. We need to... I want to get the school store as well, because that will help us generate more money. Right now, we're not getting a lot of, uh, of money, and we kind of want to generate as much as possible as soon as possible, because there are later, that we're going to want to do a lot of um, improving of our teachers and stuff. So, yeah. Jingling. Wait, did this finish? No. Almost. But I'm really hoping that's going to help us, because I'm honestly not feeling the... Uh, oh, they're so close, though, too. But this should help. <clears throat> All right, keep on teaching. Go, go, go. Is it going to work now? Yes! Look! Aha! Her teaching proficiency went up, and so everybody's going to pass now. This is great. Okay, and here, how about these folks? Oh, look at this. There are people who are going to absolutely kill it, man. These are like guaranteed um, passes, I think. That's perfect. Okay. So we have external dispatch, which is kind of interesting. It's like field trips. Um, internal recommendation recruit. Basically, after you get your you know, recruits from the, the button, uh, you can request one specific recruit. Um, the academic department and new buildings. Okay, that's great. That's perfect. Okay. Pause. So these are for the next level, which we are going to need, but I think it's very nice if we would get... Um, the school store is pretty great. And... Uh, but I kind of want, well, technically, we should be earning money before we go to the school, to the store. Okay. All right. So who do we got here? We have um, sports teachers, a couple of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and recruit Pamela there. 
Um, all right, let's admit these folks. Okay, very good. And then you go into here. Actually, what I do want to do is I want to name these something. We want to call this as, this is going to be, uh, hum, sigh. I'm going to call them all hum, sigh, because if you put a number after the hum, sigh, like hum, sigh two, it's, this is going to turn to hum, sigh, it's going to be 3.1, but it's, it's going to be still retaining the name hum, sigh two. So I'm refraining from putting, uh, letters here. Wait. That is that. Wait, hey. No, no, cancel. Please. Oh, okay. I clicked on the wrong one. <clears throat> anyway, humanities science. I'm sorry. Okay. Or Hume Sci, if you prefer. It doesn't matter. We'll just rename this one as well. Good. Okay, cool. But yeah, we're trying to get all the money we can out of our kids. <laughs> That's one way this this game is kind of interesting. It's like, yes, let's farm the kids for money. Let's go. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, let's see what we got furniture wise. OK, we got a small humanities bookshelf and the trigonometry ruler. I don't really know um, how these things affect stuff, but we can put them in each classroom. There's no reason why not. All right, and the bookshelf. Oh god, that that tail is just bizarre. Not a fan. Good. I always thought the panda bear tails were quite short, like giant pandas. Okay, let's keep on training um, Ms. Lynn. Confirm. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So what's going on here? Hello. Oh, we have a person that's misbehaving. They probably shouldn't be in the staff room altogether. So we, we can choose the like the nearest person here as long as they're idle and make them go and, you know, deal with them. All right, we got another application here. Again, nobody has any special qualifications. That's not great. However, Patricia Adams has a really high um, training proficiency stat. So the higher the training proficiency, the higher the ceiling for improvement in other abilities. Um, that's pretty high. Most of our other teachers don't have that. So maybe we should hire Patricia. We're going to need another... Let's see, how many humanities teachers do we have... Uh, we've got two humanities teachers and many science teachers. Okay, so that's okay. That's good. Let's go and check on our research area. Um, look at this. So you can, yeah, you still can only, oh, well, at least they can. They, at least they can supervise a single person. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, hmm. Yeah, not great. That's not great. We, we could have many more researchers, but we don't have anybody to supervise them at the moment. So actually what I could do is look at this and see teacher stats in this. Yeah, Patricia Adams. Patricia Adams could be the researcher chief for now until we need her for teaching. Uh, let's do that, actually. And then put in Joey Young. Yeah, there you go. That way we at least have three researchers instead of two. Put everybody to work. This panda is just lolling about on these uh, <laughs> this ice cube over there. <laughs> it's quite nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Getting there, getting there. Once, oh, student, yes, coming in. Come on in. Coming in. All right, and I kind of like this new method. I'm kind of a fan of this. Now, later, you're going to really have to be careful about making sure that the college 
is correct when you're assigning them to rooms because right now they all want to go to marina heaven and that's great but later on you're going to have different colleges we might even get to one in this episode uh which are going to want different skills and all, all kinds of other stuff in fact let's check that out we want to see if we have teachers for all we have one art person two sports people i think i want to get another art person if possible hmm yeah meh kind of like not a fan of this because I, I, I like to see my offices around there but no um also i'm not sure if this management module is working so let's see increases research efficiency uh increases students tuition and accountable classes by five yen okay management proficiency of all accountable departments is plus two that's not a big number um i think maybe we do the research one Oh, Harry Jones got a management certificate. Let's look at uh, Harry Jones. I want to see exactly what that is. Hello? Okay, so management proficiency plus three. That's very nice. Good. But I don't think it allows them. Can we actually hire Harry Jones here? Oh yes, yes, Harry Jones has the symbol. I was looking for that in the other interfaces and maybe it just didn't update or something. But yeah, Harry Jones has a certificate now. That's great. Yeah, as long as you keep your staff working, all of them are like in the middle of earning stuff. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is confirm. And then I think that my character needs to also have teaching efficiency improved. Uh, so let's do that. Training, uh, teaching, me, confirm. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Did we research this snack shack yet? Oh my God. It's taking forever. <laughs> it's like, what the heck is this? Come on. So as you see, the ice trays, I find this so strange. Um, is that actually what happens in Japan, like modern Japan? I can't believe they wouldn't have air conditioning. That they would just like make ice or something. That's such an interesting, different kind of thing. All right, nobody with management, sad times. This kid is dripping wet okay yeah probably because of the rain okay good 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 all right continue training keep on going so now we should have students really really succeeding um, they are really doing well. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna pass these. This is no problem at all. Wow, look at that. How much further the humanities have progressed compared to the sciences because of the teaching proficiency differences. That's crazy good. Okay, and now everybody in the year ones are gonna pass. This is great. This is really good. Okay, the school store sells various snacks, school supplies, and toys. That sounds great. <laughs> um, later, we want to get the temperature one because it has the heating as well as like a ceiling fan, which counts as cooling. Um, all right, so let's go back to management. I want to get the staff training because that allows us to train five people at once, which we're going to need. <clears throat> so let's see. The school store, where would that be? Um, maybe here. I guess we should build some more uh stuff okay we know also got brickwork buildings built using glazed tiles are somewhat earthquake and fire resistance uh resistant so this has earthquake resistance two this is four i guess we can try to build um with this stuff let's go like here for now i don't know where we're going exactly but i want to make a school store here 
Might need to move this window to like there. Nice. Oh, of course. Of course it's one tiny research thing. Ay ay ay. Okay, facilities. What did we get again? Ah oh, yes, there's our school store. We're gonna wait till this is done though. And did we get any furniture? Looks like we got this, maybe? Umbrella stand. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, Alright, so we'll put that by the entrance. Right there. Seems nice. <clears throat> Umbrella's plus 20. So we probably could use another one as well. That's cool. I missed that on my playthrough. Uh, my test playthrough. I like it though. Nice. Okay, so here's our new room. We're gonna go here and say, let's build a school store. Now the school store is a bit odd because it has a door. Um, a door and a window. So let's do our associations first. I want the store window. Uh, here we go. Here's the window. We're going to move this fire extinguisher. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. No. Okay. Um, we need to put the other things in here first. Uh, we do need a door. I'm going to move the... Actually, we can put the door there and move the fire extinguisher later. Okay, so now we need to put in the items that we're going to sell. So it's weird because it's like they, they go to this like a little kiosk or something. And all the stuff is on the inside. Uh, for the clerk t uh, to get. Oh, wait, that's the same thing. No. Let's get these other items. Okay, cool. Very happy days. Now we're going to sell, and it says sale, but these are like for sale, not we're having a sale on. I think that you only sell the items that you... Um, that you select here as it like you have to choose so let's move this fire extinguisher here okay very good now ah we have to do one more thing is we have to hire somebody to work there let's see somebody who doesn't need a lot of stuff actually Colin look at his his training proficiency is super high 31 is nice um let's put him here for now and let's see, Pamela is 27. Colin, here you go there. We'll just kind of level him up for now. Oh, it's hot again. So it's time to put in more ice. Yes, I still think it's ridiculous. But if this works, then it works. What can you say? Okay, good. <clears throat> At least the employees don't complain. <laughs> Well, I guess they do. I think the students are complaining about, like, the hallways and stuff, not the classrooms. Because I think the classrooms are good enough. Let's see, if we look at the environment... Yeah, environment, the lighting is suitable. It's not, not great, but, yeah. Okay, let's keep on going with this. So, yeah. So, here is the panda bear like lolling about on the counter oh my god <laughs> that panda bear oh my god <laughs> oh yeah yeah so they'll they'll kind of line up here i feel like the clerk takes a long time no actually it's working now but when i was playing my test game it felt like god i was taking a long time to do each transaction i feel like this guy has a scanner and the other one was just typing it in manually or something but the money really makes a difference. I mean, the store uh, is making money so far. Not a lot, but uh, we'll get there in a second. Let's wait for the day to end. Or maybe even do a new day or something like that. <clears throat> well, see at the end of the day what it looks like. Because normally the school store is multiplied amounts higher uh, for me than other 
uh, than the um, the food tent outside. Yep, our playground is really cute. Gain contribution points achieved. All right. Awesome. All right. Wait. Students expected to pass 18? What happened? Uh, <clears throat> why are there 18? I thought it should be all of them. Every one of them should be passing. These guys, I think, are guaranteed to pass. Yeah, those are guaranteed to pass. That's weird. How are these doing? Are these, like, what is it going on? Humanities still they're struggling with? Yeah. Okay, well... I guess next training is going to be the humanities teacher again. What are we studying? Oh yeah, staff training room. Nice. God, it's hot. 30 degrees. I... I am very heat intolerant. Actually, they have some some students with these affixes, like heat intolerant, cold intolerant, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so let's look at the money. Um, so the school store generated two thousand, and the shop, uh, or in the food tent, nine hundred and thirty. So, so the balance is up nicely. Ah, I forgot to go upstairs and put our give ourselves a nice staff training room. So let's build this. I don't. Oh, nice. Confirm. We're gonna just train the humanity humanities teacher, uh, which is Ms. Lin. Okay. It's weird that she's Ms. Lin and everybody else has a proper like first and last name. Oh, exceeds training proficiency. Oh, sad times. I guess I could give her management because, I mean, managing kids in classrooms is also a thing. Uh, okay, so where do we want to put this new facility? Maybe here? The research uh, thing? Lifestyle. We could use some of this as well. Um, no. Facility. We want the stuff thing that we don't have yet. Training room! Yes, the thing we don't have yet. That exact thing we need. Okay, those those things that pop are these uh, the particular um, classroom subject points that you get. Okay, here we go. So... I want to get, I think, we probably want to get these, but also we can get, let's see, the hygiene thing. Actually, we're going to need the temperature at some point um, when it gets to cold land, but the ice is going to last uh, enough time where we actually have to delete it. So, yeah, not needed exactly right now. So I'm thinking maybe we just go for, what is this, advanced research. Increases the research room star level more easily. Hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. How long is that? Two days. But I think, I think maybe we take, oh, we take this. Humanities and science morning session. This is actually really great. We want that. It's purple. Purple level classes. Hooray! Okay, what do we got here? A couple of points. Not bad. All right, getting there. Getting there. <clears throat> oh, that's that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Plurp, plurp. Plurpity, plurp. Okay. Ah, yes, I forgot. We can also go on these um, excursions. Let's do that. Let's go down here, maybe. Or maybe down here. Select a class to dispatch. Let's go you, go, and you go over there. Oh, we can't do more than one. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, we have the frog. Contraband! <laughs> 
I remember that. This is one of those, like, the students were naughty. I think that came from there. But, like, we're not even, like, letting it go. We're just keeping it in our pocket the whole time. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So we're doing pretty good here. We're getting to the end of things here. Ooh, cellular biology. That is an advanced level class that we don't even have yet. So um, that's going to, we're going to get this one. We need to get this one. Oh my God, I didn't realize how close we are to the end of the school thing. Let's get this one. We need it. We absolutely need it. <clears throat> okay. Continue training. Why not? It's also worthwhile training our managers um, in management. I know that probably seems obvious, but yeah. Okay, we have to be level three to recruit that person. So far, eh, it's fine. But yeah, I think the proficiency is really important when you're looking at teachers and stuff like that. Um, I think in the beginning, you just don't really have the choice or whatever so you kind of have to hire people that okay their other stats look okay they're decent enough anyway oh, we got a new person somewhere it must be this one okay not too bad not too good either I I forgot how close we were to the end of the school year I Okay, so we have these mini events that happen on these school trips. <coughs> so we're grumbling and starving. Gurgle. Frank Gomez's stomach lets out an embarrassing cry. It seems like they're hungry. They need to eat before they continue on their journey. Where should they go for food? So supermarket just to grab something. Shopping mall restaurant. Foodie street. Ignore it. I think we should go to the foodie street. The wide array of food has everyone going crazy and trying out everything they can. However, their stomachs soon start rebelling with rumbles of agony. So they get a stomach ache. Ay, 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 that's not ideal. Okay, well, uh, all right. So usually there's an event or two before they come back. So they're not back yet. Okay, there we go. Continue training. Wait, did we get the thing yet? Uh, No, I didn't. Oh no, I forgot to build the thing. Yeah, right. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, does it tell us? Minimum size 18 square. So that's like a 6 by 3 area. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Alright, let's keep building with bricks. One... So that's six by three would be like there. I'm going to go ahead and just expand. Well, maybe there is fine, I guess. Or there. I should have called it Kiwi Academy because of our little, uh, <coughs> little platypus there. Or is that a Kiwi? It could be a kiwi. I thought it might be a duck-billed platypus, but maybe it's a kiwi. I don't know. All right, here we go with the exam. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Excellent. All right, 20 out of 20. Everybody doing... Okay, we got full marks, and the others were passed. So we get plus points, like two for pass and plus four for full marks. This is fantastic. All right. What? We got our seventh? What? We did great. I guess we don't have enough students. But all right. For our contribution, we did good. Happy days. 12,000 monies is now ours. Okay. And we went up by 88 there. So that's great. All righty. Keep it going. All right. So now we are in a new semester. We now have to set up the new schedules and all the things and all the stuff because we have another class coming in. We can't share teachers anymore. 
Um, but that is all the time we have for the moment. Um, a huge, huge thank you to all of my patrons and supporters and everybody um, who supports my channel, watches the content. And I'm so glad that you're here. So glad that you're enjoying uh, what I do. Um, and I, yeah, I'm excited about uh, continuing this series and seeing where we take our school. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.